hi and welcome to another video in our series on get and get out for beginners once again i'm dr onya obed and in this particular video we are going to look at introduction to get and as part of introduction to get we will look at what get is the importance of get and how git works as well as introduce you to what git commands are so in the previous video we looked at the broader topic which was version control systems and we came to appreciate that there are two major types which is the centralized version control system and the decentralized version control system for which we also mentioned that git is an example of the decentralized version control system so now let's delve more into git itself when you talk about git we've explained already it is a version control system that is decentralized and we've also explained already what a decentralized version control system is essentially a decentralized version control system is where each developer or anyone contributing to the code that we are working on the code base that we are working on has a local repository on their computer that is they have a full version of the, the full code of each version on their computer they have all the versions that we will be working with on their own computer so everyone if we have thousands of developers each of them has a full version of the code or the full all the versions of code that has been created each of them has it somewhere on their computer and i said that folder that contains this uh versions these various versions is what we are calling a repository so if it is on your own computer you call it a local repository and if it is somewhere else we call it a remote repository because it's far away from you right that's a remote repository so everyone pulls or pushes from that remote just to update either the remote or update the local depending on where changes have taken place so that's what git is git is a technology that you are going to be able to install on your computer and once installed on your computer it allows you to create local repositories to be able to track all the changes remember creating versions is essentially tracking changes so that we are able to revert back to any change or whatsoever so git enables us to what track changes in our code base in a code base how we are able to have what we call a local repository on our computer we create something on our computer such that a folder on our computer that git is overseen such that any change that is made in that computer Git knows that this is the change that has been made. For that matter, at any point in time, we can go back to any of them. Remember the analogy that I used. When creating versions of this thing, what happened was that we created it such that we have a different form of it and we can always come back to this. We didn't just make the changes directly to this so that we couldn't have access to it. We could always come back to the original. We could go to the other one. So Git enables us to do same. And let's look at the importance of Git. I think they will all weave in. The importance of Git. There are three major importance. I mean, there are several others, but three major importance that I would want to talk about. So let's look at importance of Git as a version control system. And I think it applies to every other version control system, okay? But since we are narrowing down on Git, that is why I'm referring to it as the importance of Git. But the first one is collaboration. Having this enables thousands of developers or more or less to collaborate easily. What do I mean by this? if we have in a company let's say a fully remote company a company where all the software engineers are working from home we are supposed to be working on the same app let's say for the next two months we are building an app but then we have engineers spread all over the world and we want the work done right in 
let's say in a traditional sense what would have happened was that let's you let me narrow it down say we have three engineers so engineer one engineer two engineer three this person assuming is working on the front end of your application whilst this person is working on say the back end of the application and this engineer is working on the database of the application what happened ideally in a traditional sense without the use of a version control system like this is engineer one will write his code separately engineer two will write his code his or her code separately and the same will apply to engineer three once they are done then they are now going to submit their code individually and someone else is going to be tasked to now combine all of this code and make sure that they are synchronized and that is going to be a very difficult task to do because you don't it, that means this particular person will have to appreciate what the front end is what the back end is database like and it's going to be a lot of work so that is not an effective way to go about this hence gate as a technology came to solve this particular problem where it are now allows us to collaborate at the same time that means that these three people instead of coding on their own separately they are able to work on the same code base so you don't have to create your own code work on it separately before you submit it no we are all going to have one code base so this is the code base and every one of them has access to this same code base so when this person makes changes in the code base this other person get to see the changes the same way this other person gets to see the changes and it applies for all of them so at any point in time every one of them knows what the other has done so that they are able to optimize their code and there is no need for us to finish everything before we come and sit down to synchronize our code and we will get into the nitty gritties of this but on a high level this is how git is able to facilitate collaboration among developers now the next importance that we can talk about is it allows us to create backups of our codes so i've talked about the fact that you have local repositories you have remote repositories so the code that you are working on on your own computer there is a full copy of that code somewhere else that you don't have access to okay and even your other co-workers that you're working with will also have the same form of the code on their computer as well so assuming that your computer crashes have you lost all the code no but without a without a technology like gate when your computer crashes you've lost everything unless if you copied the code and sent it somewhere else but the problem is if you copy the code and sent it somewhere else that means that at every point in time when you make changes to that code you have to manually copy that one too and send it to wherever that you were keeping the backup but gate enables us to do this easily just with a few commands all the changes that you have done will be pushed to this particular remote repository and all the other developers on the uh, that have access to that remote repository will also be able to copy it or pull it down onto their own computer that means when in an event where even two of you or three of you have your computers crashing you still have a copy of your code so get enables us to create backups of our code the last and final one that i'll talk about the importance is the history it allows us to have history or essentially you could say track the changes or in, made in the code so if developer a made these changes i could always track it and see what changes developer a made but the other important thing when we talk about history is this let me use this analogy say assuming you are 
writing a final year thesis for your supervisor you've written the first copy of your thesis maybe in a word document and you've presented your thesis the final copy you've presented it to your supervisor the supervisor says that oh go and make these changes so you presented your thesis to your supervisor and he says make this change do this do this do this do this you take that same document you go and look at it and make all those changes you make the changes and you now present it to him now you no longer have access to this because you've made the corrections you've edited it so you don't have the original one you send it back to him ask you to add some extra things make some other changes further changes you keep doing that and let's say on the fifth time your supervisor assuming you have a very bad supervisor he uh, by the time you get to your fifth version he says that no this is even worse than what you started with so go back to what you originally started with the problem here is that you were editing these things directly so at any point in time you don't have access to the original copy so now that he's telling you to go back to the original copy you no longer have access to it and that is a big problem it is the same thing in coding so if you are not keeping control of your version if you are not versioning the code you are not creating copies of the code that you are creating then when you write your code let's say by the time you had made this modification to this point and nothing is working the whole code is now broken down you want to revert back to the original version of it but you didn't track it you don't have access to it so now you have to now figure out what 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 changes did i make like think about it and make the changes and see if it works it's going to take you a long time to figure it out so the importance of git is that all the changes that you made git will still keep this file so you have it say this is version one you come this is version two you come version three that means now you are on version four once you're on version four if you want to reverse back to version one you still have access to version one and you can get to go back to version one so that is an a very important uh importance of git that you should be aware of it keeps track of all the changes that are made in the code and it affords you the ability to revert to any specific version in the code that you have now the next thing that we want to talk about is how does git work how does git work essentially i've been mentioning keeps track of code right or changes keeps track of changes made in the code and that's essentially what it does it does that by taking snapshots of your code and storing those snapshots so when you are ready you make some changes and you are ready you tell git okay this is a good point for you to take a snapshot so this is more like a photographer taking pictures of any changes that you are making so as soon as you are ready you signal the photographer hey take this one and he takes it keeps it you go on to make your new changes it takes the snapshots keeps that one go on to make your changes take the snapshots keep it so anytime that you are in trouble or you have a problem you need to revert to any previous one then you go back to the various snapshots that were taken they are easily identifiable with names that we'll talk about then you go and look for the specific one that you want and you can always revert back to it so that is how git works then the last thing is let me introduce you to what we refer to as git command so I said that you take snapshot of it. I said that you push some code to the repository and you're also able to pull it onto your computer. There are commands that you are going to be able to use to do that. Once you have Git installed on your computer, you have access to these commands. And we are going to look at it extensively after we've learned how to install Git on our computer and start using it. But for now, what I need to tell you is that these are the commands. So on your command line, you are going to type these commands and something will happen. So if I need to take that snapshot, I have to type a command. But one thing I need you to note is that each get command begins with the keyword get. So it has to be get something. Get something. Like every command that you're going to look at under get will begin with get so the very first one i'm going to introduce you to right now is what we call get status 
and get status is just used to look at the status of our code or the version what however you call it the code base that we have have we made any changes are we tracking any changes have we pushed the code to the remote repository or not like that is what get status is going to let us in on we are going to get to see the status of the code that we are working on but what i needed you to know is the fact that all git commands begin with the keyword git and we are going to look at several of them but in the next video let's look at how to install git on your computer i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel if you are yet to and i'll see you in the next video Bye.